Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into the treasure map with some boosted teams against S Shark and CP0 for the boss and intrusion fight. For you cool cats that did some summons over on the treasure map banner, so maybe you guys did some summons, maybe you guys picked up Atlas, maybe you guys picked up Pythagoras, maybe you picked up York. Maybe you got the rare recruit, so maybe you got the entire batch. And hopefully, today's video will help you guys out with putting together some teams to take down both the final boss and the intrusion that utilizes these particular characters. Now, I'm not including the the mini boss stages. I'll do my own video on that in terms of like my teams. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave um, a link in the description when that video goes live, as well as a link to my buildable teams that don't use any of the batch at all. So. If you guys are looking for those types of teams, link will be down below. Make sure you go check that out. And if you enjoyed today's video or you enjoyed that video, make sure to belt the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the treasure map updates. But talking about treasure map, there is a massive nerf to the boosted list. Um, so if you guys do summon, obviously it doesn't really affect you that much. But for you guys that don't summon, it, it definitely will. But I think Bandai did a great job this particular treasure map to make not only the 5 plus character that we're farming for, Rob Lucci, Kaku, and Stussy, very, very good for the final stages, but also making Kobe really relevant for the final boss and even the intrusion. So kudos and tip of the hat for that. Um, but again, today we're focusing on, on boosted characters. So let's start it off with the full boosted team and the teams look a little bit like this. Now, I know most people probably summoned on the treasure map banner, but then didn't summon on stuff like the Mori Perona or the Dofi Sugar banner. However, if you guys did pick up Dofi Sugar or Mori Perona, you are going to be in a really, really good spot with your team building. Now, against S Shark, I'm not going to bring up the stages because as you can see, like a lot of it kind of gets cut off. But against S Shark, stage two, the big thing to get around is damage reduction, burn, and binds. Now, Kobe's great here because you can actually remove binds with Kobe. However, Kobe will only remove it by five turns. You need to remove it by six. So if you are going to not bring Moria and Perona, you are going to need one extra turn of bind removal. However, you can bring Carrot and Nami. If you guys do have Carrot and Nami, that's another bind remover. That's another uh, burn remover if you guys are missing Moria and Perona. However, if you guys want to just try and tap through the burn, and then use Kobe and a bind removing ship to get around the bind. You can actually bring the CP0 unit. And then eventually, when you 6 or 5 plus the unit, the 5 plus actually becomes exceptional because you have type advantage there. You can turn them into a super type because you're running a full cerebral team. And you can do some really, really cool stuff like that. However, the recommended character is Moria and Perona. Obviously, they remove bind, they remove burnt. It works exceptionally well. You can even run the the 5 plus over Kobe. That way you're just getting a whole bunch more type advantage later on if you guys have more Prona. But the idea here is you do want to run 6 Cerebrals. So you kind of like shoehorned into doing something like this. Um, York and Pythagoras are both very, very good for the final stage. Basically what you want to do is, is use a Atlas Special on turn 2 to remove damage reduction. Then use the Kobe or the more at Perona, however you want to do to get around the bind. And then moving into the final stage, you want to just activate your double super classes. Superclass, special superclass, um, use York for tap timing, and then use Pythagoras for your uh, chain boundary. With that, you have an attack boost, you have an orb boost, you have all your chain shenanigans that you need. Um, you get a full bottle recovery orbs, there's a strength barrier on the final stage too, which you have to be wary of, as well as a um, chain if you go below a 3.5 times chain. But the combination of Kobe and uh, Pythagoras is actually going to basically just give you that chain that you need. Pythagoras himself really is, is all that you really need. So if you guys want to replace Kobe, you can, just depending on what your what your box looks like. But with that, you got a really hefty boost. You can slap on like a support for some color affinity and then you're just off to the races. As for the CP0 fight, the CP0 fight honestly isn't too bad. I just slapped Dofi and Sugar on because they were the other legend. If you guys don't have Dofi Sugar, don't stress, just put Moria Perona there. Just use the CP0 uh, five star or the five plus either of them are actually going to work but kobe is exceptional for stage two he basically just removes the bind and the despair that gets inflicted and then he gives you the three turns of the chain boost he's actually a recommended character and this is what i was saying he's just exceptional for this fight next you've got uh pythagoras he's going to set defense to zero on the final stage remove the threshold you remove the damage reduction with vegapunk um atlas and then you get tap timing with york now remember you do have pain on this particular variation um, or is it here or is it here? Where's the pain? 
Oh no, pain's on the the final the final boss. The intrusion doesn't have the pain, so um, York's really good at, at getting around the pain debuff. But you don't want to do damage on stage two. Like it's very important that you don't do that. Otherwise, you're going to take a lot of despair, and it's very very finicky. But with this team, like you've got attack boost, double stacking, or boost because on the final stage you are going to get a 1.1 times orb boost, uh, which is very annoying. You can't use any uh, orb manipulation as well. Otherwise, you are going to get super block slots. But having a full team of cerebral characters means that you are going to get um, a full board of strength orbs, which is weird, but I'm sure that'll come into play with other Vegapunks later. But you'll get a full board of strength orbs that'll get through the barrier, and you'll be off to the races that way. So that's the full batch team. If you guys have the full batches, like I said, if you guys want to, um, you can easily just put this CP0 unit on there. If you, at the beginning, don't have that unit, you can use the, the five star. That's absolutely fine. Uh, if you really want to as well, you can use Moria and Perona over here as well. Like, that's not going to be an issue either. So you've got options, really, like lots of options if you guys are um, summoning. But look, over here, this one's going to be the big problem if you guys don't have Moria Perona. Your team will probably end up looking like this, mostly. Because you want to get around the bind, you want to get around the burn. Or, if you really want to, you could do something like this, and then just not worry about the, the burn at all. But remember, on stage 2, there is going to be a barrier where you have to hit 2 perfects for 3 turns. So that's that's a bit of a problem. Um, look, you could probably run, um, if you have Dofi and Sugar, you could use Dofi and Sugar here. And just remove that barrier, so then you're not worried, worrying about the burn as well. So there's a lot of options you guys can do if you guys have these particular characters. But look, at the end of the day, the one that's going to work the best is using the Mori Prona, like they recommend. Moving on to the next build now, if you guys have the rare recruits but don't have the legend, your points are going to get drastically nerfed. Now, your Atlas is a 2.5 times boost, which is really, really big. So you really want to try and bring Atlas as a friend captain. On top of that, she makes these like mini boss fights... A lot, a lot easier to deal with, especially the final stage of this 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 boss here, because there is six turns of all orbs being like ninety percent like reduction. So Atlas is just perfect to getting around that. Plus, she removes the damage reduction on stage three, and the second one would ideally remove the damage reduction on stage two. But with this particular team, we're gonna try and burst through it. It's a ninety percent attack down. The enemy only has two million HP. I'm pretty certain stage two doesn't scale. If stage 2 scales, we're in for a bit of a rough time. But ideally, what you want to do here is utilize the super swap of Nami Carrot on turn 2. That's going to give you resistance. Um, you're going to remove the bind with Kobe and get a chain buff. You're also going to apply a plus buff for Cerebrals when you get an attack and an orb boost. Then you can use the Nami and Carrot special, or super swap then special, um, after the, the bind has been removed thanks to Kobe and the Sanji support. Use the Nami Carrot special to get your chain, self chain boundary. You're going to get a nice chunky heal there as well, which is really, really nice. And then you can remove the burn. Um, and then finally use the Rob Lucci, Kaku, and Stussy special purely just to get this Uta support. The Uta support is going to give you a 1.5 times attack boost to both your Cerebral and your... Or to, to, 1.5 times attack and Orbis to your Cerebral characters. And then Kobe's actually going to increase that. Eventually, when you get this unit uh, 5 plus, you can add on um, the regular Uta with this Luchi Kaku Stussy. They're going to rotate into your captain, and then you get a super type, you're going to apply more resistance, and you're definitely going to be able to kill when you have the 5 plus variation. If you guys test it, uh, let me know how you go if you're doing something like this. Um, I feel like early stages, you'll definitely be able to get through that damage reduction. Uh, but let me know if you guys do end up trying it. On the final stage, basically just use um, the Atlas... York Pythagoras combination, and you're going to be absolutely fine. But um, York's going to give you an orb boost and an attack boost. Um, you're going to get chain boundaries and shenanigans with um, York. Remember, York gives you a massive heal. She's like 20% heal. So that should be enough to not have to worry about this pain debuff. Uh, it's 25k though, so just be mindful of that. You're going to need around 100,000 HP to actually use all of the specials. Um, but I feel like with the boosted characters you are gonna have enough hp remember the um the host ship is still boosted as well so you definitely can use that to your advantage and get a two times hp buff as for the um cp0 fight um basically like i said if once you get this unit five plus like it's just gonna make make life a lot easier but for um for this regular uh, intrusion when you start it where the hell did that other unit go what the fuck Oh, look, we'll leave it there for now. Um, as for... Oh, because they're over here. 
Um, as for the intrusion fight, as I mentioned, the thing you have to get around really is um, defense up, damage reduction, and threshold. Now, because you're not running two atlases, um, you can't get the what is it, the double orb boost, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you're getting that 1.1 times down anyway. And then Pythagoras takes care of the defense up and the threshold, and then you can um, use Atlas to remove the damage reduction. So the intrusion doesn't seem that bad. Uh, it's just that final boss is probably going to give you a little bit of a headache. Uh, but at the end of the day, 17.25, it should work fairly nicely. Um, the intrusion doesn't have anything too crazy in terms of Kobe basically takes care of stage. Um, Kobe takes care of stage two, and then once you get to the final stage, Pythagoras and uh, Atlas is captain. They take care of the attack down, the defense up, threshold, and the damage reduction. Um, you do get a hundred thousand death hit as well, so you do have to be mindful of that. And that's why I brought Nami Karina. If you super saw Nami Karina, you're gonna get base stats. You can give yourself a full board of G orbs as well um, through block, but just make sure you have at least one strength orb. So use the super type of um atlas first very very important that you do that um then you can give yourself threshold you can give yourself damage reduction with um nami karina that's going to work exceptionally and you're, you're going to be in for a really good time there so that's the that's the builds if you guys have the rare recruits but what if you guys summoned and got a legend and no rare recruits well the team build is going to look a little bit like this um again once you five plus the cp0 unit make sure to just swap them out but the thing with the final stage, if you don't have Pythagoras, is you need to be above a certain chain multiplier. Now, if you're running double Atlas here against S-Shark, one Atlas is on, going to take care of stage two. The other Atlas takes care of stage three. You get around all the damage reduction. You get around all of the um, negative effects of orbs being at a lower multiplier. You're going to have the double stacking orb boost. You're going to have an attack boost on stage two and stage three, just literally with these two units alone. And you're pretty much off to the races. Now, you do need to remove bind on stage two. Kobe's great because you can use Kobe for the five turns. However, you really want to get around that burn shenanigans there because the pain is going to bite you in the ass if you don't. Um, utilizing Robin, not Robin, Nami and Carrick is going to remove the burn. They also remove the bind. So if you really want to, like you can sub Kobe off. But like Kobe's a 1.4 times booster. So unless you guys are using something like um, Moria Perona, but then you just sub Moria Perona for Nami Carrot. Uh, or Dofi Sugar, then like that's pretty much your alternatives. As for Jinbei, Jinbei is actually completely replaceable here. If you guys did summon and didn't get like Moria Perona or Dofi Sugar, but you did actually get Monet and Caesar, I would just slap Monet Caesar on this team for more points. But I feel like a lot of people didn't actually summon on that banner. So whether you guys are using Monet and Caesar, or if you guys are utilizing Jinbei, Jinbei is the next 1.25 booster. I can't find the fucker now. Uh, he is the next 1.25 booster, so I would recommend utilizing him if you guys don't have the Monet Caesar, but Monet Caesar, as you can see, is going to give you guys a lot more points. As for uh, the final stage, you do need to be above a 3.5 times chain boundary, and that's where this Luchi, Kaku, and uh, Stussy unit come into play. Luchi, Stussy, and Kaku give you a 3.5 times chain lock. However, if you tap with a tandem or a quick orb you are going to increase that by 0.25 now i believe there is a barrier on this final stage as well yeah there is the barrier for the strength orb so you need to make sure you use rob luchi kaku and stussy after you've used the super types of atlas that way you give yourself a full board of strength orbs and then you're also going to turn the cp0 unit into a quick orb you can tap with them first that applies the chain increase then tight with your strength orb get through the barrier and wham bam thank you ma'am you are off to the races that way as for this character here like season monet or jimbe whoever you're using they're literally just here because they're a hit stick you're not using that special i mean you can i guess but like you're not really using it once you guys do five plus this unit um the cp0 you're just gonna basically hard swap them into luchi kaku stasi they give a chain boundary now when you then combine that with the Kobe, you are going to be well above that 3.5, and it's just going to make life so much easier. But for now, and obviously at the start, you can't do that. So you need to make sure that you have some sort of orb manipulation when you use a special to get that orb buff. Like that's that has to happen. As for this uh, final fight here, now you don't need six cerebral characters if you guys do have Atlas. Um, the super class gives an orb buff. 
but the special is the one that overstacks it. So utilizing one on stage two, one on stage three is great because you can get attack boost and then an attack boost. Um, Kobe literally takes care of stage two by himself. So you just use him to read the despair and the blind. Um, and then you can use uh, Atlas to just give yourself an attack boost. On the final stage, Atlas is going to override the orb boost. And then you can use Nami Karina in the Karina state. Atlas removes the damage reduction on stage three. Nami Karina are going to remove the defense up and the threshold, plus give yourself a threshold to tank the 100k, and you're pretty much off to the races there. As for CP0, they're just a chain locking unit. Um, again, once you get this unit here, the the five plus, you're going to get a chain boundary, which is going to give you more damage, uh, and you're going to be in just a really good spot there. Arlong is a 1.35 booster. You can replace him with any other 1.35 booster. If you have Dofi Sugar, if you have... Moria Perona, if you have um, Caesar Monet, any of those cerebral characters are going to make this team better. So if you have any of them, you can just sub that character in. Like, if you have this, it's going to work so much better because then you can just swap Luchikaku into Captain, get a super type as well. That It's just going to make life so much better if you have that unit. But... As mentioned, you don't actually need the six Cerebrals for this team to function. You will lose the Super Class, and obviously that will hinder your damage. But at the end of the day, this final stage, you really don't need much else because Nami, Karina, and Atlas take care of literally everything here. The only thing that you have to be mindful of is you do want the Super Swap to give yourself a full board of G Orbs. So if you have the... Grand Tesora shit maxed out. That's going to help you guys out even more as well. But to only 2.74 points is pretty much the max you can get. Unless you have one of those legends that can kind of fall in that place for an extra 1.4. Moving on to a bit of combination stuff now. You guys pulled York and the legend, but didn't pull Pythagoras. You can do something like this. Um, basically, it's very similar to what you guys have seen. Nami and Carrot is going to remove the burn and the bind. Uh, Kobe's just there because Kobe's a 1.4 booster. Um, the Rob Lucci Kaku unit with the um, Cavendish support is going to take care of the, the chain stuff because you don't have Pythagoras here. And then you're pretty much in a really, really good spot with just York just being York. Um, you don't actually need to use the York special for this particular team. Uh, York doesn't really provide that much for the final stage besides remove the counter healing. Um, counter healing is a bit annoying as it's going to actually turn your healing and that into damage. Um, so... You can use her to remove that, but remember, you still have pain, so you need to be able to make sure that 20% heal is going to be more than what your HPA threshold is. Remember, you do have the ho uh, not the ho ship, the uh, uh, Laboon. If I called it Ho earlier, I apologize. Uh, you do have the Laboon ship at 2 times HP, so that's going to work nicely. Again, Atlas on turn 2, Atlas on turn 3. Remove the burn and the bind with Kobe and um, Carrot and Nami. And then basically just use the super classes and super type on the final stage. As for the intrusion fight, very similar to what we were doing on the last uh, team build. We're just using Nami Karina to remove the defense up and the threshold because Pythagoras would normally take care of that. Atlas takes care of stage two. Atlas takes care of stage three. Kobe on stage two. And then again, York and uh, the CP0 unit is just literally there for points. Uh, once you get the five plus of the CP0 unit, you can easily sub that uh, CP0 unit in here. And that way you're giving yourself chain boundary as well. And then you don't need stuff like the Cavendish support and whatnot. If you guys have Pythagoras though, Pythagoras makes it a little bit easier. Uh, because then you don't need stuff like the Cavendish support. You're getting a chain boundary there. Um, they're going to set defense to zero. Remove the threshold for the intrusion. And then you don't even need the cerebral build like it is over here. Again, if you have Caesar Monet or you have one of the newer legends, Dofi Sugar or Mori Prona, you could just sub them in that way. And you will be in for a really, really good time there. So uh, that's the, the the legend with the rare recruit builds. Um, pretty similar to what you guys have seen. As the rare recruits, well, Pythagoras especially, helps out a lot. But Atlas is the, really the big one that is actually taking down most of these stages. But what if you have a rare recruit? Then that's pretty much it. Well, if you guys manage to pull York, you can do something like this. Um, the problem with the booster list is the burn removers. If you guys have Mori Perona, you can use Mori Perona there. I would say use Carrot and Nami, but you need to get around some damage reduction here. And if you don't have that chain boundary unit of Pythagoras, you can't really tap through the damage reduction on stage two. So you are going to have to rely on the CP0 unit to be your chain boundary unit. So you can't really use their special on stage two. I guess you could try something with York and then you could use something like the 
uh, Uta support here, and then you're going to be off to the races, uh, and then replace uh, Chopper with Carrot Nami, and then you can run them as captain, and then you can replace this unit here. But you're in for a bit of a tricky situation with that damage reduction. An easy way to get around it is to use the Nami Karina special on stage two. Karina gets boosted, so she's going to have her super swap, super swap into Nami, and then you can use the Nami special to remove the damage reduction on stage two, and that way you're saving Atlas for the final stage. You can get around five turns of burn with Chopper. With level limit break, he actually gives you an overheal, which is cool, and then you can use something like the Laboon ship to just give you a massive HP pull. You have to tap your two perfects to get through the barrier. You're going to cop burn damage, but you'll be absolutely... You should be fine with your HP threshold. As for the final stage here, um, you just slap York on the team, and then everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, Nami, Karina, and uh, Atlas take care of the damage reduction, defense up, and threshold. You're working really, really nicely there. Um, Arlong, again, replaced with any cerebral character, and uh, Kobe takes care of stage two. So this is what it's going to look like if you have York. Um, obviously, building when you only have one of the rare recruits can be a little bit finicky, can be a little bit challenging, but obviously you want to try and maximize your points where you can. And as mentioned, if you guys have Dofi Sugar or Mori Perona, they're characters you can just easily sub in. As for if you have Pythagoras, uh, Pythagoras, I think he's just a lot better than York because um, you can actually use him to get around the defense up and the threshold. However, you need the double damage reduction removal, and that becomes a bit of a problem here. But as mentioned, if you really want to, because you need to get around bind as well, just be mindful of that, you can try using something like Nami Karina, uh, sorry, Nami and um, Carrot as your captain once again with that Sanji support, and then you don't have to use Chopper. You could probably pop Pythagoras on stage two, because he's going to give you a three-turn chain boundary. And then if you want to use something like the... Um, what's it called? The... Oh, what's the ship? The... Um, Tesoro ship, to extend that, you can. Uh, Kobe can give you three turns of a chain boost anyway, so that way you carry it into the final stage. Uh, and then once again, as, as mentioned here, you could use something like the Uta support to try and burst through that damage reduction. Um, however, like I said, I don't know how effective that's going to be. So utilizing this Nami Karina and this Chopper variation is going to work quite nicely. And something you might have to do as well if you were trying to burst through defense on the other stage. But as for this team here, like Atlas and Pythagoras, they just take care of stage three. Kobe takes care, takes care of stage two. And then um, utilizing Nami Karina to tank the damage hit is very, very nice as well. So it's going to wrap up the video. There are a whole bunch of boosted list teams for you guys. Hopefully it helps you guys out with your team building for the final boss and the intrusion. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on my teams if you want the speed stuff for the mini bosses. And belt the like button, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new as well. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one.